What's going on guys? We are going to be starting a project on the RX-7 which is something that I've never really done before but I have, if this makes sense. Let me explain and show you guys exactly what we started doing to the RX-7. So if you look here with my Duraflex M1 30mm over fenders you can see that this wheel kind of pokes out ever so slightly but it fits perfectly with this size tire. This wheel is a 18, 10 and a half, plus 15, and it's a decently aggressive wheel, but it's not as aggressive of, as of a wheel that I normally run. On the services, the, the rears were 18, 11 and a half, minus, um, minus 5 or minus 10, I can't remember, but that's a much more aggressive wheel than this is right here. That being said, you guys might be like, hey, how the hell did you fit those wheels if you can barely fit these? Well, I don't know if I showed you guys in the previous videos, but I actually bulged out these rear fenders and um, that's how I was able to fit it. Pretty much when you bulge it out, you push the bottom sides in, this comes out and um, you're able to fit a bigger wheel. If I didn't post a video on it, I'll just put a link in the description of Offbeat Garage's video. He went into depth pretty much explaining of how to bulge your fenders to fit the wider wheels um, but I didn't really want to do that so let me show you guys well I didn't want to do that again so let me show you guys what I've decided to pretty much try to do so as you can see there's a bunch of cuts into my quarter panel I've decided that I'm gonna try to custom make my own wide body or I should say over fender from my existing 30 mil over fender and based on the measurements that I've done this used to be a 30 mil like I said now you can see how much like how sunk this wheel is compared to how it was before now I can fit a huge ass wheel and I believe according to my measurements if I'm correct if I measured everything right it's a 75 mil over fender which is just like the origin type threes they have a 75 mil which is why I decided to go with this width uh, pretty much what I did, let me show you guys on this fender, this is kind of it starting, this is the starting process. I got the middle line of the wheel, went up to the fender, and I cut a line straight up here. And then I got, this, these are my end marks, and I cut, I cut this body line out right there. And pretty much what it did was it freed this and this section to come out as much as I wanted to. And from then, from there, we went here and pretty much pulled it out made um so how i did it was i put a three quarter inch gap here which bulged it out 75 mils from stock i believe so that gave me the width and then up here obviously with how the body line was it was following a little lower so i had to figure out something to get the top half to meet to it because now there's a gap literally as big as that cardboard so I ended up cutting slits, that way this becomes a lot more flexible, as you can see it's moving now. I didn't want to do that before. And that being said, be cutting it allowed the fiberglass to be able to flex up to where I wanted it. And what I've decided on doing, I don't know where I'm going from here, but what I decided to do is cut a piece of cardboard to shape, shoved it in there. So now it fits, now it like pulls all these tabs up, so now it has a nice line going to flow with the bottom half. So as of right now, this is as far as I got. Uh, I'm kind of taking this step by step. I did not plan this out at all. So this looks like I'm heading in the right direction. So um, I'm gonna get back to you guys once I figure out what I'm gonna do from here. Cause this is kind of a big, a big project for me. Cause as you guys know, I do fiberglass work. I always fix my kits, my friends' body kits and everything. But I've never actually had to, I've never actually made something that wasn't how it was. I always just put it back together how it was originally. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I figure out how I'm gonna continue on with this. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna pull this out. I'm actually gonna lay this flat on the floor, cover it in like tin foil tape or packing tape or something. And I'm gonna lay fiberglass on top of it. And the point of the tape is so the fiberglass doesn't actually stick to this piece. And then once the fiberglass is all dried and cured, I'm gonna flip it around, cut it to the shape of this piece. So then I'll have pretty much this piece here that's fiberglass. This is what I was talking about here, how it doesn't really line up 
at all. It's a little lower, so this piece kind of pries the tabs up ever so slightly. But once this is Barbie glass, I'm gonna go ahead and shove it in here, like how it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and shove it in there like how it was. And then, since it's a fiberglass piece, I'm gonna go ahead and tape with some Gorilla tape or duct tape or whatever tape I have, tape this here. Just cover this section with tape, that way it holds the chip on the outside. Then I'm gonna pull the rivets off of the fender and pull the whole fender out. That way the backside is exposed. Then I can glass that fiberglass piece that I made onto, what do we call it? Onto the actual over fender. And once that's done, we can go ahead and do all the body work and make the whole thing look seamless. But this is as far as I wanna get on this side. I'm gonna start working on the other side. So now you guys can have a little bit of a better idea of what I was talking about. Cut this slit here, that way I can pull it out. Cut this slit down the middle, that way it can separate. And pretty much like you saw on the other side, you put a little gap there. I put a three quarter inch gap. I measured it out, that way both sides can end up being even. And um, three quarter inch gap, pull it out. I put a little plate here with the rivets to hold it straight, that way it's not like a point, you know? And then that's what makes it wider. And then cut the slits down here and pull these up and we'll, we'll get them going. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step from here. So we now we got the basic width of how we're gonna have it. You see this plate here kind of holds it where it has to be and then like i was saying earlier the reason why we cut the slits is because right now you can see this isn't i don't know if you can tell but it doesn't really want to move once you cut the slits it becomes a lot more pliable and you can pull it up to the shape where you want it to because right now if you take a look at it it kind of it doesn't line up at all this goes straight down this way and this is way out there so we're going to go ahead and move on to cutting these slits and get it to the same point this is because this side is all it needs is the little work we're talking about as you can see we got this side at the same pace we got the cardboard cut out for it pull, slightly pulling up the tabs that way they have a nice flowing line to meet the this half of it so like I said we're just gonna end up making a fiberglass piece just like this cardboard stick it in and glossing over that but um, as far as this video goes, that's it for part one of custom 75 mil RX-7 FC fenders. So make sure to stay tuned to see the process or the progress, I should say, on getting these things done. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.